welcome to the crack of dawn. It is a great day. It's April 25th. Gorgeous out. I can't believe it. And you know what I did before I got down here today it was so sunny and gorgeous that I decided, you know what? I just did some Mod Podge. I got a Rebel Wilson on the cover of my magazine. I didn't put her on the cover, but I put, uh, you know, just any kind of thing. Like here it says, forget about her hair, look at those legs. I like to keep that because look at the chicken with the legs kind of goes. So uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, went up to Stowe, Vermont and had the chicken in the trunk of my car. So uh, go into the house we were staying at. Thank you so much, whoever's house we were using with the brokers, thank you, it was gorgeous. And uh, we walk in. There's a chicken everywhere. Chicken doorstop, chicken on the kitchen, chicken up here, chicken up there, chicken everywhere, chicken every room. So I thought, you know what? I uh, will finish the chicken this time. So we had a great time in Stowe. I'll tell you a little bit about it once we get started. So what we're gonna do is you wanna, I kind of put the shape of the chicken here. Um, again, so I have this magazine. I grabbed this right off my coffee table. It's a coffee table book. And I, again, I hate to rip stuff out of beautiful books like this, but this is a coffee table book from one of those stores where they're like $2.99, you know, because they didn't sell that good or whatever, they made too many copies. So I had to rip it out because I can't hold up that book. It weighs like as much as a chihuahua. Huh. So I, uh, I found this, it's got a horse. I found one with sheep right behind me here. Sheep would look good on this too. Uh, but here in the corner is a chicken. So what I do, I like the horse too. That would look great on here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold up the chicken so that all I see is the chicken, okay? And sometimes I think I might even rip him out like this because this is gonna be a pain, okay? So I take my scotch tape, I tape him up here because I can't paint from uh, memory. I've got an eighth grader, Joshua, gosh. He doesn't even sketch it. He just starts at the head and goes to the tail and all the way to the end to the claw and then it's done. I can't even believe it. I'm like, you're better than I am. So hopefully I can get him hooked up with some kind of scholarship or something. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you that, oh, I'm sorry, I moved my thing, John Joe, sorry Joe. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you is the chicken basically, his head goes around, again, I'm gonna put it on this canvas because you might not be able to see with my chicken. So basically the chicken's head is a circle just like any other person's brain. And then it goes around like a cone. And then the top thing goes up here, crazy. I don't know if you can see that. And then a beak, and then his eye is usually pretty mean and it's somewhere around here. And then it goes all crazy. And then it goes up and then his feathers are there and his legs, he can be running whatever he's gonna be doing. So he's not that bad. Now, if mine comes out awful, you're just gonna feel so great about yourself because that happens, you know, at the senior center where I paint. A lot of times mine comes out terrible and everybody else's, can you see it okay, guys? Um, everybody else's comes out, you know, better than mine. So, you know, it happens. Um, again, I'm gonna look up here. Now I've got all the colors. It's dripping. Don't be worried, it's okay. So what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you a little thing here. I bought this, $4.99 at one of my favorite stores. Wasn't prepared today, wasn't sure what I was doing really. Huh. Um, so you can buy this, throw it on your paper pay, plate, throw all the colors on there. If they drip together, all you have to do is get another paper plate, take from here and mix from there. So with my chicken up here, I guess I can see there a little bit. I'm gonna tape them down a little bit more. So uh, we're gonna start with a brown color <clears throat> for a chicken. So here we go, we're gonna start with this color. If I don't like that color, look, I can mix it with this color, make it a little another color. So the chicken's pretty dark here, and I'm gonna fill him in, okay? Okay, and then he's a little darker down here. I'm gonna go fast. Ah. Yeah, up in Stowe, there were lots of chickens, lots of breweries. I went to get a bottle of wine. The only place to go to get a regular bottle of wine, other than organic, was Shaw's. I go into a liquor store, you know, because we were having fun, so we got some things, and we were adding it to our grill and everything. And uh, so you want to throw around the brown, and it's like everywhere is organic this, organic that. They didn't have anything that I was looking for. So here we go. We're going to put in a lighter brown, which means you just mix a little white, okay? You're going to get a lighter brown. We're going to throw that in. He even has some yellow in there, okay? I'm trying to mix this color here. It even has a little orange in it, so throw that in it. That's why it's good to have all these colors. I love it. Uh, yeah, we had a fire drill the other day at school. Those kids were amazing. Amazing. They didn't make any noise. They were perfect in file, got out there great. Meanwhile, at the senior center, we had a bomb threat. Oh, 
Can you believe it? So the guy comes in, I've never seen him before. He's like, there's been a bomb threat, we need to get the seniors out. And I'm like, oh, are you with the FBI? And he's like, nope, but uh, we need to get them out fast. I'm like, well, we don't move too fast around here. <laughs> so good luck with that. But uh, so I said to Eleanor, Eleanor, there's a bomb threat. She's like, a what? I'm like, I know, you gotta get all your stuff and we gotta go. She's like, well, I'm a little tired. Just give me a minute. I'm like, I know, I'm right with you. So I stayed behind with her and a couple other people that were a little slow getting it together. But I'm telling you, what do you mean go quick? We don't go quick. Okay, so we're putting a little black in there. Okay, see here? And there's a little black, usually the head goes kind of over and even into his beak here. Okay, and then under here, you know, of course the sun's hitting from up top. So the shade is gonna be hitting him on the bottom. They have gigantic legs. Those legs of the rooster, you wouldn't believe it. That's why people eat rooster feet. It's like a king crab leg. Can you believe it? I, I wouldn't do that in public, you know, the Ritz Carlton. I'll take some rooster claws. I don't know about that. So it's like, it's like eating wings. I don't like doing that unless I'm like at home and I don't eat them too much. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in some black, just where his feathers might be. And his big leg is like this. It really is like a legging. That's why they call him the legs of a chicken. Okay, and then his leg shoots out. I think he's running, I can't tell. So I'm gonna try to figure out what he would be doing. I'm not sure. I don't really like him like that, so I might make him straight up. If I decide that he's not running, I'll just make him standing up. Okay, so let's go in with the red, because he doesn't look like a chicken. Yeah, Vermont's a very nice place. Everywhere I go, I'm like, do you like your governor? They do. Most people said yes. They're like, why do you care? I'm like, I don't know. We only know about our own state, you know? So when you go to another state, that's the first thing I ask. How do you guys like your authorities? I wouldn't know. Okay, we're putting in the red thing, okay? Now this is a rooster. And it kind of goes like this. It doesn't matter, I'm shaking. So if it shakes, it's like perfect for the top of the rooster. He goes up like this. And sometimes it goes over into here and then down under here. And it depends on how big that thing is, but you know, it's pretty big. Um, we're gonna need some background. He's gotta be on a farm. So he's gotta be in some grasses with greens. He's gonna love it. Uh, we had chickens growing up, I told you. Every other Easter, it was either 12 chickens or, well, two rabbits, not every other Easter because they'd take off, they'd get loose. Chickens would get eaten a lot. But we didn't slaughter our animals. We just had fun with them. We loved it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is make some sort of a background. It needs to look like barnyard. So I'm gonna take this green, which is Lily Pulitzer. This chicken's not running around with any of that yet. So we're gonna do this, mix it with the brown to dull it down. Still not the green I want. So I'm gonna keep at it until I get something that looks barny. Mix some yellow, remember yellow and green, it makes a lighter green. And I'm gonna throw this in. I don't really like it. I'll put a little more yellow. So fun to mix, see? You really don't know what you're doing sometimes. So I throw that in. I don't know if I love it. I can also cover up his legs, so you can also do that. Uh, it's so fun. Uh, I hope everybody had a nice Easter. We went to the Brewmaster, which is in Williamsburg, Massachusetts. My mother was a teacher right next door at the Auntie Dunphy School. And so my sister and I would go in a lot, just go around that. Uh, my director, Kat, was saying that, you know, when I was doing the Mod Podge, it creates this ripple. If you can see it, it's a ripple of Mod Podge, and it sort of makes a lip, but it looks very cool. It looks so, uh, you know, kind of organic. <laughs> so fun. So we're gonna try to get this chicken looking like he's on a barnyard, and you know, if I need an epi another episode, we'll just go into it, it's all right. Uh, I want him to be good. I want some to have a nice chicken. Okay, so we're getting there. Uh, you can put a sheep on these, like I said, a songbird with some you know, musical notes in the background. I think we need to work on his face a little bit in a second. So you can also put like the, you know, there might be a barn in the background, like sort of like this. So you can put like a little barn. Okay, there might be a bigger barn. Okay, just kind of off in the distance. And all you have to do is be able to draw a rectangle. Look at mine, it's not even a rectangle. It's very easy. Okay, and then it's all about putting the roof, which is probably brown, throw a roof on there. Okay, and then you throw in a couple doors, like, you know, there's some stuff going on. It's way in the background. 
Then we need a horizon line. Horizon line is where the sky hits the ground. So whether it be trees in the background, okay, that are going around here behind my barn. Okay, I can also make a little path maybe that's coming out to the barnyard like this. Okay, it's gonna be bigger in front, that's perspective. Remember, it gets bigger out front, so a little in the background. That's kind of fun. Uh, let's fill in the, uh, the rest of the chicken. So he's here. He looks very brownish, orangey red. So let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna mix this together here. And we're gonna put a little brown here. We're gonna put his body together. I'm gonna do this color. This is burnt sienna. This is a great color. A lot of roosters are this color. I don't know what kind they are, but uh, my friend Jen Villa, she runs the Farmington Farm Truck. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, I forgot. But anyway, not trying to plug her business at all. She's just so nice, but she has chickens. And I'm like, are you allowed to have those? She's like, yeah, you have to have a certain amount of land in Farmington. And I'm like, oh, can I have them? I probably could, but I don't think, I could, I don't think you can have roosters unless you're on like a full blown farm, you know, kind of thing. So my rooster, again, he's going off the page, but I'm not concerned because if something is going off the page, you let it go off the page, okay? So I'm gonna throw that in like that. I'm gonna put his other leg like that, okay? And we're gonna figure out how he's gonna look, okay? Now I'm gonna put those blue tail feathers in because that last rooster, he had those aqua tail feathers and I'm thinking this rooster might need that color. Because those, every time co somebody comes in the shop, there's a few roosters on the wall. And the, I forgot the name of it, Rhodesian? No, Ridgeback, no, that's a dog. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's like a, it's a white and black chicken, and then it's got the red beak. Everybody loves that chicken. And my chicken, Andy, that was what he was. He was great, so people like that. But people also like these aqua kind of feathers, okay? that are greeny, bluey, and they kind of shoot out, okay? Okay, and sometimes they're even in his, in, his, in the rest of his feathers. Sometimes they even go over and out, okay? So now we're gonna have to do his eye. The eye, it's very important on a bird. We do the bird perfectly, and then the seniors and I, or anybody else that does a bird, the eye is important. It's very hard to measure where it is. So you have to, sometimes it's hard to figure out where the eye is. Usually if the beak's here, it's kind of lined up with the eye. Okay, so if the beak is here, the eye's gonna be here. And it's usually big and mean. And his eye is usually a very like bloodshotty, you know, yellowy. Okay, so see what I'm doing? And I only have this one brush today. And it's good that I kind of wing it because I, I want you to see that, you know, I don't really have, everything together sometimes. If I planned my show, I don't think it would be good, you know? Uh, I don't know, maybe it would. Okay, we're gonna put his eye in, and it's like this yellow ochre color, even a little bit more yellowy, because those birds, whew, they have very strange eyes. Goats have strange eyes. They're like kaleidoscopes. They just go around in circles, they don't stop. Um, I'm getting ready to do, send a painting out to a racehorse you saw it last time. It's almost ready to go. It's Derby Day, first Saturday in March, I believe, Churchill Downs. Uh, this one is called Cement Rose. I think the guy owns a big recycling company. And that goes perfectly for a filly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, I don't really like his feathers, but what I'm gonna try to do is just finish him up here because we probably don't have that much time, but it's okay, we're having fun. And remember to stop by my shop for extra help on anything. I have so much fun. It, I'll be there more often, you know, because it's so, such nice weather. Not sure what else I have planned. I'm gonna put a little, red, uh, like an orangey red, so that would be a cadmium red orange. You see the difference between these reds. This is sort of a cadmium red light, it's called. But you'd think it was orange. It's not, this is orange. But again, it could be called cadmium red light. So you throw it on there, on the top, and that kind of gives him some, you know, that kind of looks good. I'll throw a little bit more on the barn back here. Okay, we'll put in some more weeds and then we'll do his eye. Oof, I get scared when I do the eye. So, you know, don't worry about it. And a lot of people will cut off the chicken. Um, my friend Risa, she came in with this chicken painting. She had it on the desk lying flat like this. We all thought it was a calendar. She's better than I am. <coughs> kind of stinks. And the eighth grader, better than I am. So let's see, we're gonna go in, we're gonna try to finish him up. And I see a little reddish pink around his eye, which doesn't really look so great, but mm, let's put it because he has that around his eye, you know, that's there. 
okay? And then we're gonna put a black circle in the center of his eye, and then usually we put a white one after it. Perfect, and then, let's see, I hung all the Jamoki Academy students work at McDonald's. It was so fun. But I told them, you know, people, they rush, rub up against the wall there. You know, it's a very busy place, but thank you to McDonald's on Blue Hills Avenue. So nice to be to the children. Most people, oh, we're corporate, we can't hang kids stuff. But I was like, oh, you don't know what this means to me and the kids. So we'll throw that in. I'm gonna put a black dot in his eye, like I said, but I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting everything. Ugh, it's not good. We were in Stowe. And I went, well, actually, maybe we were in Stowe. But anyway, recently, somebody asked me my age. And I said, 68. I went up 20 years. It was better than saying 58, really. I felt great. So, you know, okay, here we go. We're gonna put the center of his eye, which is gonna be black, like that. Oh, he's so mean. Oh, we had a lot of mean roosters. They get so mad, they don't want you near the chicks. They're chicks, not, not little chicks, you know, the chicks. And, you know, again, the rooster gets every hen in the yard. Poor hen. It's crazy. But that's the way it is. So let's try to make some feathery effects. I'm gonna use a thick, thick brush. I mean a thick uh, globs, globs. I always call it globs. I'm gonna do some globs. Look at, I'm showing you what I'm doing. Very messy. And I'm gonna throw some of this in and around. I need it lighter, so I just add white. So I'm gonna do white with here, a little orange mixed in. Again, if you run out of plate, you just put it on another plate. Okay, still don't have the color that I want. I'm so good at mixing colors, but sometimes I too can't get what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for, I paint it right on there, nope. So I'm gonna add some yellow and some more red and see what happens, okay? This is the fun part. That's why I like to paint with the uh, children at school. Some people are like, they think I'm crazy. You're gonna paint with these kids? I'm like, oh yeah, kidding me? Let's use it all up. Okay, we're gonna put some lighter feathers mixing in. He's gonna start looking a little bit more textured, like a rooster, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if I'll get a rooster. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any other pets. We have Coco, the guinea pig. It's a great animal, better than hamsters. Oh, and I was at Ocean State this morning with Joanne. We were laughing so hard we were crying. Joanne, what the heck were we laughing at? It was so funny. Oh, hilarious. But anyway, uh, we were in Ocean State. We were in Aldi getting our things. And we decided that she definitely needs to come on and do another door, for sure. And we will have her on. So I'm gonna do some more feathers up here, okay? We're gonna go into the black, just so he looks very chicken-like. Maybe some of his rooster feathers are going out like this, okay? Throw those off, then they're coming around. Get that turquoise back, we're going fast now. Um, what else is coming up? School's almost over, that's kind of fun. The videos, though, that my kids show me from school. Woo! It's funny because, you know, the, the can book says there's video uh, cameras on the school buses. I don't think so. Sorry. Just saying. Yeah, so the kids, you know, you got to just let them be kids. Hey, not everything's perfect. It's a hard world to raise kids, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to take this whole, look at it, it looks like, uh, it looks like, you know, when my husband tells me, do not dump the paint. Okay, we're gonna throw in some white around here just to kind of sharpen them up so you can see them a little better. Throw that around here, because I'm not liking it, so you know, if you don't like something, you can go over it. You can take kind of a neutral gray and mix that in, barnyard effect. Okay, so again, I'm going back and around. And you can always go on my first episode, as Kat said. She's like, you know, go on the first episode with the Mod Podge. You can figure out what I did with everything. Again, if I don't like all this, I can mix it around until I want my chicken to really stand out. And you know, we have five minutes. It's such a long time. And you know, I love it. I was saying to somebody else, it's like time is so precious and it flies. My kid's gonna be 15 in a week and I can't believe it. I love it. I think it's great. Everybody says they wanna go back to the baby thing. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Um, 
Then let's see what else. I've been on my drive to Hartford. It's a pretty good drive. What I do is I do something different every day. Sometimes I go over Mountain Road, you know, up that way. Sometimes I go towards Yukon, bang a right, then go on, uh, what do I go on? I think it's called, um, oh, what's it called? Albany Avenue, Mountain Road to Albany Ave. That's my best bet. And I go through West Hartford, it's so beautiful. I like the white, I'm throwing the white in. I'm gonna throw his feet in and I'm gonna kind of make them white, I think. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Everybody thinks ducks and geese and everything has yellow feet, but let's make them this orangey color and see if that works. Okay, that works. Throw some of that over there. And then I'm gonna kind of try to get rid of, I want this showing through because I like the words. I absolutely want it to say, forget about her face, look at those legs. Chicken legs. And then when you're frying up the chicken, ah, oh, just bought a Weber grill for my husband. Aren't I nice? You know. I was like, he needs a grill. He's so nice. And you know what? He probably is so sick of these ramen noodles that I keep whipping up that uh, we did have Chinese last night, I'll tell you. You know? It's funny when you walk in the Chinese restaurant and you catch the owners, what they're eating with their family. Not what we eat. They got like bright red stuff going on. You know, really, really healthy stuff. I don't see fried rice or anything fried on their table. And you know, hey, I think it's great. People just don't know, oh, he's much better now. But I think we need some more turquoise. Let's go for the turquoise. Uh, I love it. Thank you for tuning in. We have Jason DeCarolis. Thank you, Coach. He's coming on June 6th. And don't worry, if there's some kind of odd playoff hockey thing, I understand. I get it. I know the Bruins just wrapped up like seven grades in a, seven games in a row, and I think Tom Brady said something about it. Crazy. Oh, I love it. Um, let me see if I can whip this up and make it look more Barney and add, add some turquoise feathers here, okay? So we're gonna throw in some turquoise feathers going around. And the more globs I put, the more it's gonna get kinda fun looking, okay? This time I do, I'm gonna have the feathers coming around and whipping back down and crazy chicken over here. Maybe they're flying up here and going around. Then I'll put some grass in there. Oh God, I don't know. Sometimes this thing happens so fast at the end. I don't know if I like that, but it's fun. And you can go over it because, so this is a very easy painting to do. I don't love my chicken, but you know what? I'm gonna fix them. And while the credits are going, I'm gonna be whipping them up so you watch. And anytime you need my help, just call my shop, go down to my shop. I'll be open every now and then and I'll be painting. And then I'll soon be done with school and I'll be back at the Senior Center, I can't wait. I hope you're tuning in, it's so fun, I love it. And I love that people are painting, I hear people. You know, I got a couple of those paints on, you're right, it, it, it's not that bad. I'm like, no, it's not, it's pretty darn easy actually. Maybe I'll make a blue sky, uh, I don't know. It's so fun though, that's why paints are great. And you know, it is very good for your brain cells. So I'm gonna put some blue sky in there, I don't know why, but maybe. Maybe that'll make it kind of old looking. Yeah, I'm kind of going for the old look. So, you know, it's fun. Uh, I hope everybody has a great week. I tune in in two weeks. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. Maybe Bob will be with me again. But we are gonna do some great paintings and we're having so much fun on the show. Thank you for tuning in and have a great night. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going with the chicken because I'm not happy, but you know what? In about two minutes, I could sell this thing for a good amount of money if I keep at it. So I'm gonna keep going. What I do like to do is, I'm, tr I'm trying to drown out a little of the color. I'm not liking the color. So I'm gonna get some white. That's why I remember Joanne and I, when we were today, she said, don't forget the white. I was like, oh yeah. And so what did I do? I bought the whole set for $4.99, which is so cheap. So I'm gonna take some yellow ochre and some white, okay? And I'm gonna throw it around and try to get some more paper going on here. Let's see what happens. He looks cute. We'll lighten it up. Throw that around, see what happens. Want him to look old fashioned. Barn can kind of be in the middle. Now, when I put this white over the barn, do you see how all of a sudden it went way back in the background? Which is what you can do too. There's lots of effects you can do with these things. I'll throw in this, okay? Sometimes you just have to go back and do your background over a little, rework it, no big deal. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'm liking it. It's looking, uh, it's looking kind of, it's looking kind of like uh, Japanesey. I love it. Sometimes people will do this. It's crazy. I'll show you. I'm gonna put his legs like this, and then I'll put a little thing on his head. Sometimes people 
will do stuff like this, go across here. And sometimes people will do this. Now, I don't speak, nor do I know Chinese or know how to write it. Look at my neighbor, Rich. I wonder if he knows. Maybe Rich. So you could do stuff like this. People love this stuff. So I'll pretend I know how to write Chinese. So I'll go over here and I'll write this and do that. I don't think people eat chickens in China. Yeah, they bust. I don't even know. Maybe this does not appropriate. But anyway, sometimes when you do stuff like this, you know when people get tattoos and they're like, oh, that's so nice. And they're like, oh, well, it means Gypsy Rose and, you know, Swala Labata. So, you know, I don't know if I like that, but sometimes I guess if I could do Chinese, that would look cool. But that kind of looks Chinesey. Maybe if it was a crane, maybe I should get rid of that. Yeah. I don't like that anymore. So this is fun, see? So fun, you can see how my painting goes together. And a lot of people at the senior center, they're just like, Dawn, you are crazy. How do you do that? I'm so afraid to do that. I'm like, don't be afraid. It's so fun. You gotta wait till it looks good, you know? Look at me, it's still going. Hmm. I love it. Let me get some more white, it's so fun. Oh, maybe I'll put some more colored feathers. He needs some highlights. So I'm gonna take, he needs highlights. So I'm gonna take this Burnt Sienna.